Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Hello friends and welcome to another one of my cosplay vlogs. I was so happy when Dreamhack invited me to come back this year. Um, this is Dreamhack Atlanta again. I was here last year and I was very excited to experience it again because I had so much fun last year as well. We did drive, we always drive just because it's, it's like 7 hours the drive and I'd rather do that than go through the trouble of flying there. I've heard so many horror stories of airlines losing cosplayers uh, luggage and if I can avoid it as much as possible I will and I don't really mind the drive, it was really nice. Plus Atlanta has the best vegan food so it gives us the freedom to ride around and get some of that. So I just arrived at the hotel, ignore my breakout, but today was, today was very chaotic. It, it did get better as the day went by. We woke up needing to go to the vet to take a fee for an emergency. Um, I have more details of that on my Instagram. Um, I don't really want to go into it right now, but but that was, you know, it wasn't something great to wake up to right before a long drive to Atlanta so that really threw me off everything's good, Taffy is okay, she will be okay and she's being taken care of by uh, lovely family members that are gonna care for her while we're here at least until Monday and, and the drive and everything was nice um, it's just just minor delays, really minor things in a way, but you know, it was definitely a very stressful day. So I am very excited to be here and we finally ate and now we're gonna have some nice vegan baked goods that I love. Is that is mostly in Georgia. I'm very excited for tomorrow too. I'll be cosplaying child for tomorrow. Tartaglia, I don't know. Call them both. I'm very excited for that. Sometimes life can take these unexpected turns, but we can always wake up to a brighter tomorrow and just be grateful for the things that we have and that we are able to overcome these challenges. And there is not a day that goes by where I'm not grateful for the opportunities I've been able to experience. The hotel wasn't connected to the convention, but they did have a very efficient shuttle that would take us there and back. This part of the vlog is gonna have a lot of muted parts because there was a lot of loud music, which in a way it's great because I was dancing a lot, um, but in other ways it was a little bit too loud for vlogging. Um, the music was our neighbor's booth music, so it's not the actual cons. We had a party every day, which was pretty fun. I made a lot of improvements to my booth this year that I was able to test out. And I'm really proud of it. I really have good friends to thank for it, for giving me advice and helping me up my booth game. It was the first time that I sold large prints, which did so good. I also added more merch, like uh, the little keychains and a menu and the tote bags, which really made a difference into kind of elevating the booth look. The cosplay corner this year was so cute. It was very well lit, which, you know, cosplayers can appreciate. Just like last year, Monster Energy was a huge sponsor, and this video is not sponsored, but this thing is a lifesaver. It was so tasty, and um, I usually never have energy drinks, but this really 
We needed it. We were so tired from con crunching, driving, everything. So uh, this saved, this was a lifesaver. I'm just saying I'm not a big fan of energy drinks, but um, every now and then, in a pinch, I, I can trust that it, it, it does help. At the back of the cosplay corner, they had this little photo area, photo booth area with the, with the ring lights and everything. They also had areas where you can fix any cosplay malfunctions you might have. And it was really cute. I wish I would have recorded it, but I didn't. I recorded it after they cleaned everything up. So we just got to the hotel room and I was going to do some TikToks. But you know what? This is not the last time I'm going to be shy. So I figured... I'll do that at home. I just want to rest. I'm tired. Um, so we're going to eat something and then we'll see what we do. Some uh, Somebody just messaged me to do something. Look at this view. If you're afraid of heights, not your thing, but we are on the 46th floor. Which is probably the highest I've ever stayed in a hotel. This floor, this hotel has 70 floors. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty, the hotel. Once we leave and it's a little bit organized, I'll give you a tour because I don't know if we recorded that. I don't think we did. <gasps> Sorry for the jump scare. <laughs> but yeah, it's really nice. I won't show you the rest of it because it is a mess right now, but isn't that cool? I love it. Good morning. We're heading down to breakfast before we start getting ready. See what's down there and I'll take you along with me. Today's gonna be a long day, so we should have breakfast. Yeah, there's no sun. It'll be a gloomy day. I was hoping to get the sunset because the sun, I mean, that's the, is it, what is it called? It's not sunset. Ah, sun. <laughs> Sleepy brain. I was hoping to get the sunrise because it does come up right here but um I don't <gasps> this is pretty it don't look like it's gonna be like that so it's gonna be a very gloomy day it might rain hopefully not let's see I never recorded this but I had to fix this wig it was so bad I'll put a before picture here but I had to fix it last minute last night because I I didn't make time for it so that was me fixing a wig last minute but it turned out so good. I'm really glad that it was so fucked up. We forgot the we forgot the comb, so I got to use a fork. Can you believe I styled this wig with a fucking fork? I forgot to record the breakfast picking the picking up of the breakfast, but uh we brought it up to the room she feels weird you know walking around with a bowl with a plate of food <laughs> around the hotel but we just like eating in the room I don't know. plus you know we get that view coffee. coffee every con we go to we usually buy like the pre-made cold cold brew cold brew just because you know we don't want to go to starbucks every day or have to buy or look for where to buy coffee every day so we always have coffee at the cons that's smart time to dig in this is the only thing we could eat is fruits and bread <laughs> oh, it's um, it's unstuck and sticking. I don't even know if it's really sticking or doing it. It's like a emotional support tape at this point. It's like I know it's there, so it's supporting me, but it's not doing its thing. That's why this is my good 
You may hear me complain about the cold a lot, but to be honest, I kind of like it. I mean, I loved coming in here to Atlanta in December. Last year was November, but now at this weather, the foliage is different and it's so pretty. This time around, the experience was very different. I got to meet a lot of new friends, uh, a lot of people, a lot of you guys too. Thank you for anyone who stopped by my booth to say hi and take pictures with me. I really get excited for those moments. I also always get excited who my neighbors is gonna be. This time around, it was Atlanta cosplayers, so check them out if you haven't. And thank you to the lovely cloud who let me borrow their buster sword. This thing was so heavy, I was trembling. Although I am really happy for my cloud cosplay, there are a lot of things that I need to fix and change and I do want to have a buster sword one day. It is not DreamHack without the video games and I was so excited with their indie game corner. There were so many cute games and creators that I've met. I will link a few down below for you to check out uh, that I really enjoyed. I sadly did not take a lot of time to play all of them. I tend to glue myself to my booth when I'm guesting at conventions. I just hate to miss when people come by my booth and I'm not there. Like, I, I hate that so <laughs> I stay close and attached to my booth. They have a lot of competitions going on at different times and the uh, land party which I just recently learned what that meant. Their artist alley grew in size and they had the cutest artists along with the cutest merch and very different from one another. I love that they had a lot of gaming supplies or gaming materials. I must say they really stepped up their game this year. It was already a great convention last year, Dreamhack, but this year they got bigger and brighter and it, it was very impressive. This cute little game across the convention floor where you would uh, scan these barcodes um, and join the quest to find like certain things so we had so many people come into the cosplay alley just be like hey part of the quest is to take a picture with a cosplayer and that just really made the experience so much more wholesome this whole convention is a gamer's dream so many activities to do related to gaming so many video games to try out um so many streamers visiting as well that you can get to see and meet visually it was just stunning it was like a cyber dream <laughs> their merch store like i've never wanted to buy from a convention so much like these outfits and these shirts are so cute so stylish like they had so many options this was where the LAN party was at, I believe. The matches were held at these giant stages, which unfortunately I didn't make time to sit and watch because again, I was glued to my booth. But they seemed like a lot of fun. We are gonna do laser tag for Call of Duty now. It's gonna be pretty fun. And um, yeah, I'm gonna kick someone's ass. I don't know if we're on a team or we're against each other, but we'll find out. Also, I haven't blogged at all today. Anyway. What? It's about to be two. Filmed while you're playing inside. There's just a few GoPros rolling from Activision. Did you, yeah, did you guys do the contest or no?
to the room um another great day we were in a party but then just got some allergies probably because of the cold so um, i'm having some allergies too because of the cold but now we're not partying instead we're devouring this amazing oh my god god it's gonna it's gonna spill again we're having cinaholic <laughs> Um, I love that they last two days, so like we'll have today and we'll probably have some for tomorrow. It's great. Um, so this is the alternative to partying, uh, eating cinnamon buns. Breakfast time. Good morning. We're just ready to head out. We are running a little late. Oh fuck, it's the third day, so I'm really tired. So we did kind of take a while to get ready, especially me, so I was like dragging. Needed a little bit of extra sleeping time. We are gonna go to Whole Mat right after DreamHack, so this is like me trying to take it easy. And I was gonna do Ezreal. Um, I brought his cosplay and everything, but then I was like, you know, I really want something a little bit more comfortable. This maid dress is really comfortable and a little bit warm too. So I figured I'd do maid Ezreal today. And yeah. It is day three of DreamHack and usually for me the last days I'm either the most tired or the most chill and I'm usually trying to talk to everybody just for the last time, uh, all the booth neighbors that I've had. Friday and Saturday I had photo shoots for my cosplays. I usually leave Sunday a little bit off. Being as this year it was just me and Jess, I wasn't able to vlog any of the photo shoots from the previous days since she had to stay back with the booth.
having um, an evolved setup than I had before. It, it looks great. The bad thing is, it takes three times as long to put it away. But you know, it's worth it. Um, it was a really, it was a really good time here at Greenback. I'm really happy they invited me to come back. Right now, Marco. I did come here last year, and I'm excited that I was able to come back. And I had a really great time. Today's the last day. It's Sunday. It's been not obvious because I'm putting everything away. But yeah, it was it was a great. It was great. It was a great turnout. This time they had more cosplayers, which is what they're trying to play. Um, so hopefully next year I'll be back. And when I'm back, there's more of you guys coming to my booth and more cosplayers as well. I feel like. It's On the last days when I'm starting to clean up is when I'm really starting to feel that post-con depression. Uh, for me, it's more like post-con booth depression because I, I really enjoy um, boothing at conventions and getting to meet so many of y'all. And I, it's just a great experience for me that I'm very fortunate to have. And yeah, when I leave, it's like, it's over. Um, I don't know when's the next one gonna come in. And it's just, it's just very fun to do. Are you recording this? Yeah, like a whole neat cosplay corner here where you go and like, you do your makeup or you retouch something. It was also like really cool neat stuff and photo ops and like with the ring lights but I'm sorry I didn't vlog it. It was really cool so hopefully next year is going to be even bigger especially for cosplayers so yes please come to bring that next year. Here's you. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get some food. My turn. Wait, mine is matched. <laughs> I'm, gonna get some vegan. I'm not kidding when I say Atlanta has the best vegan food. We normally are not eating out this much, but these places are just so good. Whether you are vegan or not, you will love Slutty Vegan. They have the best vegan burgers. They even have their own vegan bacon. Okay. We got our food, we got our fries. We didn't get to try this one last time we came here to Atlanta, so I'm very excited. We are sharing this vegan burger. It has vegan bacon. Look at that. Whoa. And with fries. Oh, and sweet potato fries too. Fish. Here they are. Yeah, I'll try one. Mm. Mm. Oh, they're actually really good. They're really good. Yeah. Time to eat. Okay, so it is Monday. So we're checking out of the hotel. We have packed our things and are ready to go. But I never gave a tour of the hotel. So this is the entrance. There's the bathroom. Pretty standard, you know, it's modern, it's cute. Um, nice shower. And this is the room. It's very high up, it's on the 46th floor. Um, we got a king bed because it was just us two for this con. But it's really nice, very spacious. Um, it was obviously tidier when we got here, but yeah, it's really cute. We got the large TV little desk area which would have been great for photo shoots but we didn't really have that much time but the view is just phenomenal it's so pretty and we're so high up you can see a mountain over there I don't know what mountain it is but yeah here's Atlanta we're staying at the Weston Peach Tree Plaza 
as beautiful as this hotel was their service was one of the worst and i'm not one to complain but um it is stunning that's for sure uh, we had cinnamon buns every day for these three days but they don't have it in florida and we are obsessed with this place as you can see why is this turning into a food review what the heck anyways i am so grateful to be back at dreamhack this year i had so much fun and i'm so happy to have met so many of you and as well as the experiences i got thank you very much dreamhack for having me back again and thank you all for watching my vlogs and supporting me see you on my next vlog